Once again, Papi Cat is going to be my first guest on the Life Conversation Show. I'm going to call him right about now, so do listen to this particular trick. It's called In Adam Feelings, all right? So take a listen to this. Just doing a bit of background work right now while I play this particular track. In the meantime, between time, take a listen to Papi Cat from out of Jamaica. Take a listen. Kelly, you see it up. Fake nest in a day, yeah, yeah. But don't spot it in the square, yeah, yeah. But greatness, we are said the same. So tell them, said them can't stop, but pick it again, no. Wanna bless up uh, Tama Ranks down there in the UK. But don't also wanna bless up Figo Blanks yeah. and the full crew down there Great. in the UK. Yeah, like a wave radio. So tell them, said them can't. Gotta bless up Ed Robinson. Again, no. Caught up in them feelings. And Michelle Atherton, bless up yourself. Them Lady G, gotta bless up Sharon. Them chat the Sister Brenda. Them I say, Papi Cat, I need them ratings. Caught up in them feelings. Once again, I want to bless up Sophia McKay for making this show happen. Me back on them chat the ratings. Go knock your word, them I say, Papi Cat, I need them ratings. Been to the valley of the shadow of death. Well, I'm not a coward, now nah, boss, no cool sweat. Though the wiki that right. Rising artist from out of Jamaica, Kaku. because by the name of Papi Cat, he's gonna be my guest. Yes. Keep it locked. Hopefully, my tat and father got guide me steps. Got the vibe as I rise, and them won't stop me breath, yeah. Watch every move, I count the steps when me take. One rope about me life, those like a cigarette, oh. Caught up in a them feelings. Fakeness in a them greetings. Turn me back and them chat the earth. Greetings. Yeah, All right, Papi Cat, how you doing? Not too bad, you know. Great, great. You're live on Stockade Radio out of Florida. Bless up uh, our listeners who are listening. Just bless up everybody. Everybody. Yeah, blessings out to you all, Riddleland. You know, just keep the peace and keep faithful. Blessings. Yes, and it's a, it's, a, it's a blessing to be able to speak to you today. We have Sophia McKay from New Image Promotions for this. Uh, I mean, just speak about New Image Promotions just for a few minutes. I didn't get that. Speak about New Image Promotions, Sophia McKay. Uh, how did you come to know Sophia McKay and to be part of New Image Promotions? All right. First of all, it, um, it all started start with this brother named Busy B. Yeah, him, him, I always pass the shop and you know, I always entertain the people there and so on. And he said, no, mom, but you still have talent, you know. And um, he said, you know, I, I know a few people. So he was the first one to take me to the studio as well. And then, uh, you know, after we start, we do the first recording, then he, he put me up with her, and from there, it's, you know, it's been a blessing. And I'm, I'm really, really excited to work with her, because not only with just the music career, but she's a person that you can reason with, someone that can give you, you know, proper guidance, because as youths, we need those things to help ourselves to be a better person of society. Yeah. So, um, uh, mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, so from... From there it starts, and the journey has been tremendous so far. You know, right. I'm really feeling honored to be working with her as well. Well, well, well. Share with us the place where you were born and brought up in. Uh, speak to me about Jamaica, because you're a Jamaican artist. Speak to me about your community growing up as a young kid and how music became a part of. Okay. Um. Well, my 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 beginning was, you know. It's, more, as I would say, grassroots type of thing because I'm, I'm from a humble background, a poor background as well. Mm. But we always, we have a certain moral that we try to keep, you know, we try to make certain so we don't get into trouble and so on. But, you know, going to school and things like that, it was difficult because seven of us, my parents have, and, you know, I'm one of them who is, I would say, is fortunate to, you know, have this determination to help myself. So from time to time, you will find me on the street selling bag juices and, you know, Guinness, pear, mangoes, stuff like those. Right. But also, also those I did those things to help myself going to school. But also in the lunchtime at school, I always indulged in clashes, you know, contact with other people. But it wasn't for just the fame or just for, you know, to get. But it, all, it, was, it also helped me in the farm to say, um, you know, purchase lunch. 
So I always try to make certain that I always win those competitions. I, always, I wouldn't have any lunch that day. Right. So, right. But I, but for my, for my longer time, I always find myself doing music. You know? mm. I think that's my, my true calling. So, um, but it's just that not until when busy discovered that year, and he also assist to help me going through and so on. That is when I take it more serious. Right. So, so life was a bit hard for you in Jamaica uh, back in the in in the day, right? Right, right, right. Uh, I came to understand tragedy befell your family also. Right. Tell me about that. Speak about it. Well, yeah, my, my brother, uh, he was at the bus stop one day, and it happened that um, you know, some people, um, a car pulled up at the bus stop. It was several persons there, so it's about stuff, and it happened that, you know, them come out with guns and stuff like that, and what mm -hmm. happened is that um, everybody started running, so shooting starts and things like that, and my brother ended up getting shot, and went and, so the, this, the claim that the police said is that they were looking for a wanted man, right? you know, and in this, this prescription, but um, it's nothing like that, because after, they, they, they tried to bribe, to bribe my parents after my brother died with right. phones and so on and we didn't accept it because you know that couldn't bring up my brother right yeah so and then they say it's the wrong identity and stuff like that but uh, anyone will run so they, they were saying like um why he had to run if he wasn't you know wanted or so on but i mean you're at a bus stop and you see somebody come out with guns and you know, yeah in plain clothes it's not like he's a police right. car or anything so everyone was running so he, he was you know the, the unfortunate one to suffer right. to, to that Right. Yeah, so and it, 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 was, it, it has it, it mm -hmm. has brought the family, you know, to to some low moments, you know. I like right. even there was song about the other day that it's supposed to be coming out on an EP that I'm working on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that 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 song it has a lot of um tears from me, not just me, but also the engineer mm -hmm. and also the the lady that do the the background vocal on it. Right. You know, and that's when I realized that uh, what I'm singing. You know, people can relate to it because everyone could relate about, you know, losing someone they love, someone that always helps you to do homework and stuff like that and always have something to encourage you to be a better person. Yeah. You know, and that, to lose them at that stage. Right. And in that situation, it's difficult. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, my my condolences and sympathy goes out to you and your family and you know i so what we're learning from this is your brother got shot through mistaken identity yes sir and uh i uh, i also came to to understand that he was more or less the breadwinner of your family right yeah yes sir so basically from my understanding is that uh um, you now had the weight on your shoulders to be the provider of the family. Yeah, yeah. I, I asked my, my sisters as well to go to school mm. by selling on the street. So, yeah, you could say that. So, so for you, there is this determination. I'm just assuming there's this determination to succeed, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, there, there, there was something about you, you know, that... <clears throat> Uh, after being introduced to you through Sophia McKay from New Image Promotions. And, you know, like you said, I've known Sophia for a long time and she's a lady of integrity, you know. Uh, so when she sent me your music, there was something about ghetto life that that I couldn't really put my finger on. And when I heard about your story, you know, it came apparent. It became apparent to me where you were coming from, and uh, that there was more of a uh, a passion for what you were singing about, more of a trying to help people in your community, making people understand where you've come from, and uh, and, and are trying to help other people. Would I be right in my assumptions that you have a passion to help other people through your music? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. And also to encourage people in my living as well, because I don't want to sing songs that I can relate to or people can relate to in a positive way that can bring change to the society and the youth around me. Because um, I, um, I have a lot of friends that die because they choose the wrong way, mm -hmm. you know, because of greed. And yeah, we have a problem in Jamaica where a lack of opportunity for the youth. But um, 
you know, you have to create opportunity as well. I mean, some positive ones. So you have to believe that yeah, you can make it as well. So that is one of the things that drives me because I said, well, um, you know, I have to make my mommy proud. I have to make my, my sisters, you know, I have to also try to direct them in a part that, you know, could be better. Even though I was looking to elders for, you know, guidance from time to time because it's not like I'm perfect. But I need people to guide me. But I, I, God has blessed me in a way where I find positive people to be around, you know, to motivate me. And mm. I use it and I also pass it on to others. Right. So, so like, I, I know you spoke about some of the, the, the things that, you know, are going on in your community. Um, but share with me one more time how you try to assist other people in your community. Just share that with us. Okay, uh, we have a water problem there. So, you know, you have a lot of um, shutting people that live home, old people that can't really go out and so on. So from time to time, I will try to assist. Normally, I used to go like with a little group and go and try to assist, clean up the, the, the yard for them, you know, help them carry water from the spring or the river because we didn't mm-hmm. have pipes like that in certain places. So, and also, not just to give them... Um, money alone but um also we are a word of encouragement you know introduce them to god and also introduce them to to you know a different way of life you know trying to believe in yourself more don't wait on the government to do it but you see you can take yourself and become successful right now now my next question to you is has a rising artist who's trying to make a name for himself, who's trying to better himself, but also trying to help those in his community. Like, for instance, I'm going to give you a for instance. You know, I've heard your music and I've heard your potential. Are you getting the help out there that you deserve right now in terms of getting airplay, maybe getting, you know, people who are willing to record you? Are you getting that kind of help? Well, um. If, if, even if it's one person, help, I would just call it help, and I have to be grateful. But I'm um, as in a good amount of help to really bring me to the forefront, you know. I'm not getting that, but I'm grateful for what I'm getting for so far from you and a lot of other persons also new me, you know, for being there as well. And even with the brother that did the video and so on, it started from a phone where, um, you know, I see him edit, edit a few things and I said, you know, you can do it. And I helped him also to help believe in himself and said, no, I don't know. And I said, yeah, man, try it. And we didn't have any idea that we would do a video because I didn't have the money. As, you know, it was just to record and so on, but to get the money to do a video, it was, it was difficult. So um, I encouraged him to say, All right, let us stay together and buy, and buy this video and so on. And we tried from there and it took a look, a look a while to you know, edit the first video and so on, which right. is um, part of goal. Right. And... Um, from there, you know, we see where we are growing as well, you know, to, to, to be uh, like a team. So I realized that working as a team in unity, then things um, come to more than trying to do it on my own because, as, as I'm saying, you know, no man is an island. No one stands alone. So mm. together we can do it. Yeah. But um, to get that support, I'm really clear for it. You know, I, I really need a certain support to help me musically and also to, you know, help help others so put me in a situation where I can really give back, you know, to a wider society. Right. So so at one point you were going it alone. Now you've teamed up once again with Sophia McKay. Once again just share with us how you came to to know Sophia McKay and how they've been a blessing to you. Yeah, as I said, um she will be the beat. This yeah. is the person who take me to her and also, he was the first person who took me to the studio and so on. And, you know, did, did the first track and so on. And, and when she here, she was amazed. And knowing my story, you know, that pulled her closer to me as well. You know, and it's like she said, but this without, you, you know, even though you're not getting help, in believing, because I do gardening yeah. and stuff like that to help myself with my songs and so on. So even with busy being there, him, it wasn't like um, he was pending to help, but he helping encouragement, help me to know people, help me to arrange songs, help me to how to structure out a song, you know, stuff like those. Right. And I'm grateful for it. So when I meet her, then I say, yes, I'm, you know, God has opened one more door for me. Yeah. And from there, as I said, it, it's been a history. And I try to, to be humble because I'm, I'm, I'm a humble person. Mm. Yeah, so I'm doing that and being manageable and also, you know, 
keep working at my goal, taking correction, stuff like those. Right. And she go to, you know, she, she, she start being there more and yeah. always have some encouraging words to say, and which I really need. And those are the things that, you know, help me to be with her. And right. she has, yeah, she has, she has been, you know, to a forefront where I could say, I'm, I'm, I have to be grateful and I would always be grateful, you know? Right. Because she has, she has helped me to meet a lot of people and also helped me to express myself through my music to others. Right. And make the wider work and hear. Now, now you have two songs that I have for you at the moment, but you, you, you have more songs, but pretty much they weren't ready for listeners' ears, right? So we, we yeah, have yeah. two songs for you. I know you're working on a, a, a project. Well, the, sh- share with us the project that you're working on. Uh, it's more like um, it's, it's, it's almost the same type of songs like Get Your Life, but you know, it's like as I said, one I, I'm as to relate with my brother and so on. So it's more of a cultural setting because I, I try to keep it positive as well. Mm. So it's more of that format, yeah. And um, so far I only need two more songs to finish the EP, right? So um, hopefully by uh, we don't have a set date to release or anything as yet, but um. Where the work is concerned to finish, it's near. As I said, it's just two songs I need to finish recording, and then from there, then we will think about releasing the date and to name the EP and stuff like that. Right. Now, in terms of your music production, how do you set about working with the right people who can take you to the next level? Well, um, it's just um, new image promotion are the persons who is you know, behind the paperwork and so on, make, ensuring that, you know, I get things right. properly done and so on. Brilliant. But, like, to go in the studio and produce things, you know, I'm the person who go and do it and also get the musicians to come together and, you know, get the girl to the, the, the harmonize the song, stuff like that, and also um, we always have to do with um, the, the fun part to funded to do it. Uh, so I do my work in the day and like in the evening or on a weekend if I get the time. Then I'll right. try to, you know, utilize that money in a positive way to enhance my music career. So share with me how critical you are of your own works. Well, um, there is always room for improvement. That's the first thing. And um, I see where it's helping others. I want it helping others you know, to be a better person and also to believe in themselves more and to pursue their dreams, then I would say it's, it's a good thing for me as well. Because it's not just about me, but it's also about sharing my story and my, my song, expressing myself with my everyday living to help change the society or the mindset of many I use out there that is thinking that, you know, all hope is gone. So once I can encourage someone along the way of life in my song or my living, then, you know, it's a blessing. I would say I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Uh, I I have to say, uh, when I first heard, like I say, Ghetto Life, for me, that is the first song that you did that really I, I took a huge liking to. Not just from the way you delivered it passionately, but from, you know, the message in the music and and what you were trying to relate to the people. You know, I really felt it, which is why, you know, I'm very, very fussy about what I hear and what I choose to play, you know, but it was something about ghetto life. Now, I use that as the benchmark, yeah, for any further productions coming from you, you know, so... I, I I really am rooting for you and I'm eager to hear what this new album or EP will provide to the people. So I want you to know that we're rooting for you 100%. Yeah, I can, I can see the love that I'm getting from you and New Image and you know, so much people out there is relating to the song because it's real, it's a real situation that is going on and you know, I, I can feel the energy. So it also encourages me to to continue doing positive things because, you know, the fun spot, fun conscious music is not really big, but um, at least it's, you can't think about the money part. You have to think about being a different, you know, make a change in the society, mm. in the youth. Because if we can get the youth to think positive, I take, as the Bible would say, it takes a child to lead, to lead them. So um, I try to be that person where God can use me as an instrument, you know, to, to make a difference. 
So that's one of the things that so I try to remain humble. And I'm very grateful to know that I'm, you know, you, you have found the message that I've, I've tried to, to pursue and to put out in the song because, as I said, the passion in it as well. Yeah, because it, it, it's some real story, things that I've experienced. Like, I, I don't see nothing in the song that I don't really live. Yeah. So it's something that I live. I live the, So when I'm saying, singing it, I sing it from experience. It's not yeah. just putting words together. Hmm. Um, tell us who the producer is of this particular track and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it in its entirety uh, up next tell us uh, who produced it and uh, what what kind of memories it brought for you when you recorded this particular track uh, it was, the day I went there I didn't went there to do that song I went there to do um, I think it was um, a mama song and uh, it happened okay. that I'm um, you know it's like I did make some arrangements, you know, to come into the studio that day and and you know pay up some money and get get some work done. And the funds is like everything was just going apart. All hell is you know bursting loose here and there. Everybody said, oh, oh, you have to take what next week. And then, you know, I said I'm a man of my word and I try to be a man of my word. So I went to the studio and I explained that you know it wasn't. I didn't have all the funds that I needed and as I was bargained for and so on. But um. I feel like I want to do still this song. I said, um, you want which one, which other song you want to do? And I said, um, I think I'm gonna just sing what I live out throughout this week, and that is where it starts from. When I started, I didn't have the, the last verse and the finishing of the song, and it was in the studio it come up. Right. But as I said, as I said, it's because I said I just want to sing what I live throughout the week. Right. And that is where it starts from, and then he said, well, give it a try. And when I started, he said, no, man, but um, I must say, and it's like everybody I'm used to, I must say, chink, and oh, yeah, where get, where get that from? And, you know, me start, uh, um, oh, me do it you now, and it's like, I must say, no, man, so it's like people from outside, that's true, they come in now, and everybody start group up around, and I say, yeah, and like everybody can memorize something where them go to, and, yeah. you know, it's something where people, you could feel the energy from them. So um, that's how it come about with that song. Oh, the producer for the song, um, that the engineer that work on it for me is um, Noel N J Small, that's okay. from Peak Music in Mary's Bank. Right. Right. And the the brother that do the video with me, you know, um, is um, Adrian Lovacho, White right Arm. Right. And his, his production team um, name is um, Vertical Edge. Right. Right. So. Yeah, he has been there from day one with me. Cause he used to sell um, Bob Joseph in Africa with me as well. So he, wow. he knows the story. So as I said, I, I, his people that is pro, pro, um, productive, I try to associate myself around people right. that, you know, trying to elevate themselves as well. Right. So he was there because he was that type of person trying to help himself. Right. So from time to time, we encourage each other to keep doing better until, you know, we arrive here and we have a long journey to go. So we try to stay humble and learn from others you know yeah now i i have to applaud those who uh you know produced the uh, video and directed the video i have to applaud them because it was brilliantly done it was simplistic and it works i actually thought it was somebody who was in you know productions for many 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 years and it just goes to show that you know youth have talent right Right. One of the good things about that video is that it takes us three hours to shoot it. Imagine. And it take, take us take us two weeks or more to get the storyline together because I'm a part of the storyline as well. Right. And, and you know, start coming up with the ideas and so on. And say, yeah, and that could work. And we change a few things and so on. But um, and the day is like so a, a few persons who were supposed to take part in it is like them. Them say, we, we confirm with them from the day before and them say, yeah, um, everything got to come out good. And yeah, t- tomorrow, when we reach to the venues you now, it's like, um, you know, oh, the one they call the same stick, the one they say, candy, the one they say, the one they say, never member. And everything got different. And I just stopped. And everybody was, even the video brother was getting upset. And I said, you know, this is how you just like, I take the glory from my side. Let's pray. And, right. you know, we had a word of prayer. And then from there, I just what, what, um I want to get a car wash and I went into a yard and I asked. I didn't know the place that good. I went in the air and I asked the lady. I saw her washing some clothes. She's, those are the persons that see right there um, washing the clothes in the video. They are, it is everything we have in the video. Like every single thing is real. When we were shooting, we were the, the outer leak. It yeah. happened real. 
So those water in the in the container there, it comes from the roof, literally. Every okay. single thing in the video is real. Wow. And real that, life. Just from one word of prayer. From a one word of prayer, everything and it, it takes us three hours to shoot the video. Wow. Just imagine. And and, and the devil eh? Yeah, the devil show up from in the morning, so everything the the ride are um reached to us late, so from there until I mean, we leave out from 6 in the morning, and when it reaches to um, 2 o'clock, we still can't get the video start. Right. And because we have to wait for this person, that person, and the people who are supposed to be there, they are not there. Right. So everything we see um, in the video, it literally um, is there. And, 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 and what area in Jamaica did you shoot then? I shoot most of it um, in, in Thunder Park. And some in Mavis Bank as well. I do some over in Portmore section there as well. Right. So so you really help to put them on the map again, right? Right, right. <laughs> I have to big them up as well for the support as well. Right. Big them up, man. Big them up. Yeah, so a big shout out to Sandy Park for being there with me, you know, and for those ladies that assist me with, you know, organizing things today and said, no don't worry, man, God is in the plan as well. You know, it really has meant a lot to me. And Mary Bunk has always been there with me. So, you know, a thumbs up to you as well. And, you know, let us keep it peaceful as well. And also, look out for the youth, because you could never tell who is the next star. So keep guiding the youth in the positive way. Yeah, right. Man. So um, I still need those support as well to keep doing better, to make you all proud. Well, we we have uh, Empress Sharon down there in Germany, and she's saying to bless up the Mavis Bank crew, or the Mavis Bank Massive. She's saying enough love to everyone. Yeah, man, give thanks and you know, blessings to her as well. All right. Well, let's play this track by Papi Cat. It's called Ghetto Life. Introduce your tune and let me play it. Okay, well, um, this is my story, my way of growing up. This is real, and people I know you can do better. Believe in yourself. Be strong and be courageous. Don't be terrified about the things that is going around in your situation. God is always in control. Here I introduce to you, get a life. Take a listen, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go nowhere, you know, puppy cat. Yo, you mean I can't get no, 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 me and it's a rumble jumble clash Stacked radio promotion it non-stop In a this a rumble jumble clash no. We don't know say this is King Kong And we are say a stacked radio you know Yes run the promotion Yes no, no, with love no, and devotion no, no, no. Them don't no, know about no, chicken back No no no, 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 chat. no, no. <laughs> Listen keenly, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Listen keenly. Them don't know who we used to play. No, 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 you know what I mean? Me a fist bang to Sunday bank. It's enough to know the struggles. Them don't know the road we walk. Have a couple questions and me want to ask. Uh. And when you know about get a life. When you know about family life. No know me struggles and not criticize I won't go ever yet with your child See man a ball and you come a smile The attitude of a little child Apply for help but no reply The tears flow like river nine And if it tell you about get a life How solid can we not lie Boobot! I can sleep on the drink of wine Got a toothache in the midnight Now I've no butter and the rice dry The juice mix a win and no eye Are you listening ladies and gents? Matches on the lamp no light Tell you about real miserable life so. Yeah man, I have to pull that up and play that one more time Listen keenly, no, listen no, to every word. No, 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 
Just enough no know the struggles Them no know the road we walk Have a couple questions me want for ask uh -huh. And when you know about get a life When you know about feel me life No know me struggles and not criticize I won't go ever yet with your child See man a ball and you come as fine The attitude of a little child Apply for yell but no reply Set tears flow like river nine And me fi tell you about get a life How sally can win on a line I try and sleep on the drink of wine Got a to take in a midnight Now I've no butter and the rice dry The juice mix and we no no eyes One stick of matches and the lamp no light Tell you about real miserable life So what you know about get a life What you know about family life No know me struggles and I criticize I won't go ever yet with your child The man a ball and you come a smile The attitude of a little child Apply for yell but no reply The tears flow like river nine In a ghetto one no paradise Gun chat a echo every day and night True politics Johnny lose him life Got a curfew in the midnight Blood running at the lane like pine Dead body cut we up in time Five pounds from the streets at night But I say fair not the anti-Christ Cause them no know about get a life And them no know about fi we life No know we struggle so them criticize Cause hungry never yet twist them time See we a ball and them come a smile The attitude of a little child Apply for yell but no reply So tears flow like river nine And if you tell you about the board floor Zinc fence and the dirt road Hood fire and the coal stove I'm not a book to up on the rocky road Now the next train cause I have a load Them lock up mama for a coach a load The bills I eat till them touch the cloud Poverty make every mongrel a touch the road So what you know about get a life? What you know about family life? No know me struggles and I criticize I I won't go ever yet with your child The man a ball and you come a smile The attitude of a little child Apply for yell but no reply The tears flow like river nine Cry every day, cry every night And net that their fears Nobody really hear it crying Yo, so who can turn to? Our help come from the Lord Make the heaven and the earth So he alone know our struggles, you know. We'll make it. Jai is by our side. Never give up, get a youth. All your head up high. Rastafari, I says peace. What a track, what a track, what a track. That was Puppycat right there. Puppycat. Yes, sir. Man, I, yeah, you know, I believe in you. You know, I believe in you. I believe that greatness is yours. I believe you're going to make it. Um, and it's going to take some hard work um, from yourself. And I know you're geared up for this, you know. Um, but my question to you is, is how do you move to the next stage? And how do you get help with structuring your lyrical contents? Uh, I do believe you did mention that earlier. I'm not too sure if you did mention it, but how do you get help with structuring your lyrical content in order to move forward? All right. Um, so I try to read a lot. I'm a vigilant person, so I try to observe. And as I said, the everyday life around me has helped me to shape the music that I want to bring out as well. Mm. So from time to time, experiences will all really be there for me to, you know, put together 
with the help of God and also being humble, you know, and the advices I'm getting from persons that, you know, see and believe in me, just like you believe in me, you know, which I'm very grateful for, you know, and also new image, you know, for advising me from stage to stage, you know, how I must live, how I must help myself to, you know, to read more and, you know, it will happen by God did. Mm. You know, um, I guess my next question to you is, is do you feel weight on your shoulders? Yeah, I, I do. And there are times when I want to, uh, well, I don't want to say that, but um, there are times when I feel like giving up because I'm, I'm like, you know, why it's so difficult to, to be real and to think what is real that is going on? And everyone is like, our majority of the crowd is ignoring it. It's like, in, for you to get highlighted or be somebody, you know, you have to be singing derogative things and mm-hmm. things that is downgrading people mm-hmm. and, you know, not helpful to you. And, you know, they are trying to feel like giving up. And then I said, no, these songs is to encourage me. And if you can encourage me, then it will encourage somebody else to be a better person. So um, from time to time, you know, I feel downhearted and I feel, yeah, because, as I said, the everyday living is, is very popular in Jamaica, especially. Mm. You know, the poverty and everything is there. And not the poverty, the crime rate has gone out of hand. And, yeah. you know, people singing more gun songs than singing something to make the youth and realize that gun is not the solution to their situation, you know, or their struggles. So I try to encourage myself that, you know, do, if, if I can... Encourage, because as the Bible would put it, you know, a courage every brother never stumbles. So once I can take courage in my work, and people can, and I see look at you, it's around me, my little nephew, and so on. Those people, you know, always say, you know, boy, you know, my life home, see you do it from school days, and you from leave school, you still live on the street, and you also, and you always at it, and you never really, you know, see yourself get caught up in a police business and things like that. You always keep it humble, and oh, you manage to keep it so humble, and you know. But it's something from inside because I'm looking at the broader society, broader and teacher. So I'm not just singing for no, but to make a bust too. But I'm also looking down the road when you know, um, you know, I become an elder and things like that. And then would I be feel proud about the work that I've done? Uh, um, would I feel happy to see people living it out? So I have to make sure I'm conscious to what I'm putting out there as well. So, so you're also directing where you want your destiny to go. You, you, you're setting up your destiny. Right. Right. Which, which is great. And, you know, when you go through those hard times, you need to remember even the greatest, greatest artists who were out there. Again, we go back to, you know, maybe Bob Marley. Bob Marley was a struggling artist and he wasn't honored in his own home. You know, um, and right. Bob Marley was a person who pretty much wasn't even honored right up until, you know, he really passed away, but he put in the works, you know. So that says right. to you, and I'm saying this to you, not that I'm saying, you know, you have to die before you get your glory. Glory is already yours. You just got to be consistent. The first thing you got to right. do is be consistent with your productions with the way you structure your lyrical content, which is why I use uh, Ghetto Life as a benchmark for all future songs that you do. You know, you've got to get the structure in right, the message right, but also you've got to get the mix and the mastering right. So once you come with consistency, people will, you know, continue to listen to you. You understand? Yeah, sir. Yeah, you you you've got to get all the ingredients right, and at the moment you're moving on the right path. You're doing the right things. I do see greatness being yours if only you keep it up, you know. And that's how maybe I can encourage you. Like I say, I'm very fussy about what I hear and what I play, you know. And the reason why I'm yes, playing your music is because I like the way you structure that song. I'm playing it because I love the the mix and the mastering. It was well produced. Love what you did and how you performed it, the energy you put in there. And it's the reason why I'm playing it, which is why I play it nearly every time I do the Raising the Awareness show, you know. It's because I love what I hear and the passion you put in there. 
and you're an upcoming artist and I really do believe in you and there's a lot of people who are listening to the show who also believe in you so never ever give up giving up is never an option how do you no, deal no, with hmm? yeah giving up is not an option indeed yeah how do you deal with the business side of your your because your music is on iTunes uh, how do you deal with the business side of your your works well um, I'm a producer as well so most likely I'm the person who is funding a certain thing where the business side is I get assistance from um, social market right. you know which is new image from what and they are the person who is there they are the person who if you need me to to book me on a show or any interview with me or so on, you will contact. Right. Right. So she take care of that for me. Right. So the royalties and your publishing and all those kind of things, she deals with all that for you, right? Yes, sir. Brilliant, brilliant. I, I wanted to give people information, uh, whatever information they might need in order to follow you, uh, if they need you for shows, whatever is the, the situation, give people information as to how they can find Pappy Gun. Okay, um, to, 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 for, for bookings or interview or so on, you could contact um, me at um, 876-87-130-80. So that's um, 876-87-130-80. Um, right. Yeah. Or uh, you can email uh, or you can email um new image promotion at gmail dot com. Okay, brilliant. And, and get, follow, get, 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 give them the email one more time. All right, new image promotion at gmail dot com. Okay, brilliant. Continue. Right. You can also you can also follow me on Instagram at music puppet. I spell the music puppet. M U F T I C P A P I K A T. Also, um, the same thing for Facebook. On my Facebook page now, um, I Puppycat Music. And as I said, I spell the Puppycat P A P I K A T. Okay. Right, so that's I Puppycat Music from a page as well. Right. How did you come up with that name, Puppycat? <laughs> you know, it was it was it was given to me um, carrying water from for someone, and it's like, as I'm a, I'm I'm a person, I'm a social person, so I always entertain people. I always <laughs> find something for you to laugh. So, right. Even if I just go, so let's say I come I come to a business place and see a serious face. I say, well, I'm not spending any money with you until you start smiling. And I said, um, do you say anything to smile about? And I'm saying, well, um, you have life, and you're talking to me, so that's something to smile about. And I said, well, it's not funny and whatever. And I said. Well, I have to find a way to get you smiling now. So I maybe reach in my pocket for my courage when I say, okay, I'm wipe off a smile off your face. And right there, you start smiling. So I try to make people happy. Right. So, um, you know, I always see and people say, I'm, like, I already want to have my cousin say, man, you're school boss. And then can say, boss, no, man, I'm going to pop. And it's like, <laughs> I say, no. And they say, so like how they used to call him brother mongoose. That right. means him going to be what? Um, pop goose. And they say, no, man, you can call him poppy cat. And from there, and it's like, it's sick on me. And it's like, I didn't want it at the time. And then everybody said, yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. So, you know, I just have to upset it from oh, there. Brilliant, brilliant. I love it. I always say Jamaicans always come with some original names that I like. So bless up yourself. <laughs> yeah, greetings, greetings again, man. Yeah. I'm glad to know that, you know. Well, I... I it's I, original. I, eh? Yes, I feel good to know that it's original and, and the way I get it as well. Yes, for real. Say that, talk to your fan base across the world. That, what do you want them to know about Papi Cat? This, this is your time now. You speak to the people. Well, um, I'm, I'm this type of person that is humble. I'm a, I'm a vigilant person. I'm always reading. I'm always doing music. Always doing music. I mean, like, there are times when time I'm going through situations and you know, I maybe start reading and so on, and sometimes I don't get the full encouragement that I need, and then, you know, from listening to certain music or so on, or somehow that's the time when I, most of the time when I write a song is when I'm going through a situation. That's the time when I get a song. Because I'm not the person who gets up and says, I have to make a song today. So it, it, I believe in, it's like an influence. It, it has to be something real 
going on in the air, it has to connect to me. And then from there, you know, the sun come about. So, yeah, and I'm a person who is, um, I like farming. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I believe in, you know, people that always make God be a centerpiece of your life. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm a god fearing person as well. Right. And I'm, I'm somebody that everybody want to be around, you know, I'm, I'm somebody to make you smile. Mm. That's, that, I think that's some of me. Right. Well, you, you, you know, you're here for a reason, and I believe greatness is yours. I hope this show really helps you as an artist also. We're always going to be here supporting you along the way. We want you to know that you never have a problem with airplay, you know. Um, so, you know, we're rooting for you, and we wish you all the best for the future. I'm very grateful as well, and thanks to the society, you know, for listening and you know, thank you in a big way for not just believing in me or just playing my song, but for what I see you, you are doing for reggae music and, you know, for, and to be one of the persons that is standing up for conscious and positive music. I'm really saying thumbs up for that as well. You're welcome. And uh, one thing again, I, I would like to see them to go and, you know, see what I'm talking about in Get Alive. As I, re I recently put out this video as well, so I, I need the comment. You know, I want people to see the struggle. As I said before, that that, um, that video is everything happened that day, like literally happened. There is mm -hmm. nothing where we planned, like to, from this day to that day, to get it done. Everything that like, we did plan, everything gets forfeit because people don't turn up. So God records everything that is in that video that day. So mm -hmm. if you look at our face, our expression, and everything. It's because that day I was feeling down because um, everything was going loose. And from that one fire, things mm. started building up. But, you know, it was the expression on my face was because of everything that was going on that day. And it was the same experience while I was doing the song itself mm. because I had a rough week that day when I did it. So mm. I would like people to go and comment on the video, you know, like it, share it for me. Help me to spread it. To spread my story that can help someone tomorrow. You could never tell it. Maybe helping your grandchildren or your great grandchildren to come out, so on. But I'm I'm really looking forward for that support. So the video is um on YouTube. It's um entitled um Papi Cat Get Alive. And as I said, that's the Papi Cat P A P I K A T. And I have um a next video up there as that's part of goal. If you are interested as well, that's a true story again. So you know. I'm looking forward for your support and your feedback on the video and you know and my musical journey as I go along. And I tried my best to make you proud. Thank you so much for sharing with us your your journey so far. And once again, we're rooting for you. Uh, we do urge everybody out there to, if you believe in him like how we believe in him here at Stockade Radio, all you have to do is go to his Facebook page. Just type in Mustic. Puppy Cat, P A P I K A T, and you'll be able to find him on Facebook. Tell him how you feel about his music. Keep it real. You know, if you like his music, let him know. You know, send some words of encouragement. Like he said, check out his video. It's an awesome, simplistic video which works. It absolutely works, and I absolutely rate it 100%, not just down to Puppy Cat, but all the people involved in making a video and the community at large. So we wish him the best. Puppy Cat, uh, tell me one more thing before you go. In other them feelings, tell me quickly about that particular song, and we'll ride out with that particular track. Okay, that song is a true story. Again, as I said, the things that is going on in my life, I've seen about. And, you know, I had some friends, and it's like, you know, from time to time, they criticize me. This moment, they say, oh, man, you all make it, you know, and you all make it. And next moment, they say, oh, man, it seems like they're old-fashioned. They're not going to wear, and they're always a child with children. So sometimes we give them all things. I'm saying, you like it, and them, them inside, they press like, they press dump. You know, or, you know, them, so they're always putting me down, and, but I always believe in myself, and God always, um, always show me them. You know, so I, from time to time I catch people, you know, criticizing me and so on. But as I said, greatness, I said this year, so I'm trying to prove them that yeah, I really mean what I'm singing about. So from time to time, I will do that. So, um, yeah, that, that's all that can come about. Okay. Well, Papi Cat, bless up yourself. We believe in you and we're rooting for you. So God bless you, my brother. And same to you. And thanks for the, the, the support as well. 
You're welcome. It was, one, um, it was wonderful speaking to you, and I look forward you know, to continue and Most the support as well. You're welcome, my brother. Take care now. Peace and love, sir. All right. That is Papi Kef from out of Jamaica right there, rising star who we believe in. We believe in a lot of these upcoming artists who need the help and uh, that's what we are here about. Once we hear the the, you know, that they're real about this thing, whether they can sing or perform, whatever it is, we support them here at Stockade Radio. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, we're going to ride out with this track and leading up to my next interview with Sophia Squire out of Jamaica. Keep it locked. This is Inner Them Feelings. This is Papi Cat. Greetings, this is Warrior King, and you're in tune to the greatest conversation show with the 10 star general, General Culture, and the Stacking Radio up. Station in London. And this is Warrior King. Bless the love, keep in tune. Oh, greatness, we are said the same. Inner Them Feelings. Them can't stop Papi Cat again, no. Fakeness in the day, yeah. But don't spot it in this way, yeah. We're here to encourage. Yes, we are said the same. So tell them that them can't stop Papi Cat again. Oh gosh. Caught up in a them feelings. Fake us in a them greetings. Oh my Jesus! Turn me back and them chat the routine. Oh no, care what them are say. Papi Cat no need them ratings. Caught up in a them feelings. Oh. Fake us in a them greetings. Turn me back and them chat the routine. Go no care what them are set Papi cat no need them ratings Into the valley of the shadow of set Well I'm not a coward now nah, boss no cold sweat Though the wicked heart rise up to eat up my flesh Ja crucify feet I ya live me request yeah. Hopefully my tata and father God guide me steps Got the vipers I rise and them won't stop me breath yeah. Watch every move I count the steps when me take One rope about me life just like a cigarette oh. Caught up in a them feelings Fakeness in a them greetings Turn me back and them chat the routine But no care what them a say Papi cat no need them ratings Caught up in a them feelings Fakeness in a them greetings So once again it goes by the name of Papi cat Greetings But no care what them a say Papi cat no need them ratings Some say me this and no for them say me that Some say me selling weed Some say a crack Whole gang of Liam do sad not to crack Straight out a mango slain me them call papi cat yeah. Sky is the limit me and try reach the top Chip up the microphone now the whole place a rock yeah Yet as a pass and them no like fizzy that Also wanna bless I'm up tough. sunshine from yeah. Anna Sweden and bless up yourself Caught up in a them feelings Fake us in a them greetings Turn me back and them chat the routine Wanna bless okay. up Jab Bonnie yeah. Papi Cat no need them ratings Keeble Drummond Caught up in a them feelings Stewie Cables Fake us in a them greetings Wanna bless up Winston Jarrett And them chat the ratings Kenny Rocks Yeah what them a say Papi Cat no need them ratings Uh huh No go a college but we grew a street smart Fee take where them girl we no need sweet talk Just need well clean if we girl sweet talk Kelly a sweet talk Pulling this back one more time, just one more time for Sharon down there in Germany. She's absolutely loving this one. Gotta bless up Sister Brenda, also down there in Kansas. Keep it long for my next guest coming up shortly, Sophia Squire. Back and them chat the routine Go no care what them a say Papi cat no need them ratings Caught up in a them feelings Fake us in a them greetings Turn me back and them chat the routine Go no care what them a say Papi cat no need them ratings Into the valley of the shadow of death Well I'm not a coward now nah, boss no cold sweat Though the wicked heart rise up to eat up my flesh Ja crucify feet I ya live me request yeah. Hopefully my tata and father God guide me steps Got the vipers I rise and them won't stop me breath yeah. Watch every move I count the steps when me take One rope out me life just like a cigarette oh. Caught up in a them feelings Fakeness in a them greetings Turn me back and them chat the routine But no care what them a say Papi cat no need them ratings Caught up in a them feelings Fakeness in a them greetings Turn me back.
back and them chat be your things But no care what them a say Papi cat no need them ratings Some say me this and no for them say me that Some say me selling weed, some say a crack Whole gang of Liam do sad not to crack Straight out a man go slain, me them call Papi cat yeah. Sky is the limit, me a try reach the top Chip up the microphone, now the whole place a rock yeah. Yet as a pass and them no like fish see that But I'm so famous, me a be whole of them a chat yeah. So once again, I gotta thank Sophia, uh, and Sophia McKay for introducing me to this shining star who goes by the name of Pampy Cat. Sophia McKay from New Image Promotions. You can check her out. www.newimagepromotions.com Turn me back on them cat be a things. Oh no care what them a say. Papi cat no need them ratings. No go a college but we grew a street smart. Fi take where them girl we no need sweet talk. Just need well clean every girl a sweet talk. I don't girl a friend na the every time we pass. Yeah. Me don't tell them how my things set. Well Papi cat me name me no friend. We have uh, high hopes Play. for this artist right here. Time. Papi cat. We believe in him. Exact. Right here well, at Stockade Radio. Yeah. You better believe. Fin of them feelings, fake nest in them greetings. Turn me back on them chat be your thing. Oh no care what them a say, Papi cat no need them ratings. Caught up in of them feelings, fake nest in them greetings. Turn me back on them chat be your things. Oh no care what them a say, Papi cat no need them ratings. No need some friends, no need some friends. Don't need some friends, don't need some friends, don't need some friends. Pass me the phone, delete some friends, delete some friends, delete some friends, delete some, delete some. You know? <laughs> yeah, delete some of them, you know? Yeah.